may I be Willis very funky. Willis, your lordship has four points in the tenth schedule. The, the issue is narrow. Whether your lordships on a can you just formulate the four yes. points? So before that, let me give that. Today your lordship is not hearing the matter. Right. Today your lordship is deciding the correct balance of convenience <coughs> to endure till such time after the value your lordship hears the matter and renders judgment. That's the only issue today. Now, it is for that, far from being unrelated, as the other side is saying, the issue is in direct collision and inextricably intertwined. That's the first point. I will demonstrate that in a minute. Just a moment. Direct collision and inextricably intertwined. Yes, Dr. Number two, it is for that reason, and I am not saying it's a judicial order, but it is for that reason that your Lordship has advisedly, in different combinations, from 4th of August 22, 4th of August 22, made it clear that people will seek adjournment to the Election Commission and the matter will not go on. There have been three dates in between, from then to now, including one coming up later this week or next week. So it has been adjourned, that was the Lordship understanding. Of course, subject to the Lordship certification today, no doubt. Till the application was heard. Number three, why this inextricable intertwining and collision was? There are four elements in the 10 schedule, which Mr. Simple has shown, but those need to be summarized. One is the phrase original political party. Just a moment. This phrase is very important. Political party. Public original political party. Now, Willis, I stopped at clause 4 of the 10th schedule. Till clause 4, if my counting is not wrong, this political party, original political party, has been used 8 times. 8 times. So there are many more. I'm just giving Lord Shiva. Original. Original political party. And sometimes they say political party in the same context. If your Lordship sees one C without reading it, it's been read to your Lordship, but just keep it open with us. Then two one A. And these are hard, these are the operative provisions. Then explanation. So 1C, 21A, then explanation A. I'm sorry, my apology, but 21B also. 21B also. 21A and 21B. <coughs> then explanation A. Explanation B, I, double I. Actually, much more than 8 actually. Your looks at the sub clauses. Then 2 bracket 2. Then 4 bracket I and many times in clause 4. Now, well, it's interestingly, Dr. Singhvi, where does the expression original political party in 1C appear in the text of the attention? Yes, yes. <coughs> Just as a matter of curiosity, yes. nothing really would turn on this. <coughs> Well, it's when they say uh, it's in four, it's in four, four, it's four. four in the merger. Where is original political party merges with another? Because the political party phrase in the other clauses means the same thing. I'll tell you in a minute why. Because the idea in a minute, I'll come back. It's the same concept. Now, well, it's, this is directly would be an issue on a subsequent date before the election commission, even on their reading of the symbols order. I am not accepting the application, etc. All that is separate. On their reading, the symbols order clause. Dr. Singh, can you just formulate the four elements and then you can yeah, use the yes. Because so the just help us in. Yes. Number two, of the four elements, the first is political party, the second. Split group faction all out permanently from 2003 WEF 1104. For 
permanently out. That was the big bullet's pain because you created an anti defection law, it was circumvented so easily. Therefore, and I, we have not yet read your not hearing the matter. If your lordship reads the statement of objects, it's very god crappy to prevent precisely what is happening now. So, element number two of the 10th schedule no form of split group or faction. Because that is directly what the election commission has to do. Right. Directly. In a minute, I will show you. Number three. Directly. That is exactly what the election commission is asked to do in the symbols order. I am just saying, Willis, it is suggested that your lordship is unrelated to issues. Hear this matter in November, let the election commission go on. Willis, how unreal would that be? Kindly consider. How duplicated, how irreversible. Number three, and the statement of objects for this when we come to the final hearing, we will show that. There is a necessary condition, and then there is a sufficient condition in 10th schedule. It's a cumulative combination. Now it is common ground, common I repeat, that the necessary that the necessary condition may have happened, but the sufficient condition not alleged to have. What is the sufficient condition for us? You have to inverted commas, not recognize, break away. And then because, because now that there is no split. So, more than two thirds go. That means it's the new group. That group by itself makes no difference for the schedule. Suppose, let me give an extreme case. Out of 100, 90 go. Or 75. Go. Unless the second sufficient condition is cumulatively satisfied, that is relevant. That is the whole purpose of the amendment. They have to merge. Or declare by merger, create a new political party. But only merger is the sole defense. Just bear with me and clause 4 for a minute. Just this leads to yes. clause 4. That was the whole idea of substituting what is merger for split. It is nobody's case that in whatever form Shiva Sena exists there, in our whatever factions, that it has merged with the BJP. Now, Willis. A member of a house shall not be disqualified under 2 1. That's the only defense. It's an exemption. You will not be disqualified if this happens. It's like an exemption. A member of a house shall not be disqualified under 2 1, where his original political party, the Prashita Sichan Shudas, merges with another political party and he claims that he and any other members of his original political party have become members of such other political party or as the case may be of a new political party formed after such merger or have not accepted the merger and opted to function as a separate group. This will be for the balance 25 or 10 in my example. Because you bought 75 or 10 are left, 25 are left. And so the people who remain, the people who remain, remain after a merger, yes, their, yes. their entitlement to be legislators is not taken away. Because, because, because you are entitled to say, I don't form a part of the merger, yes. I stay back and I continue with my own. I am very grateful, I am very grateful. Because, because and quite right, it is not their fault. The remaining 10 can't be disqualified because 75 are gone. So that's a very logical. Now just continue the suffix. Suffix is important. And from the time of such merger continues, such other political party or new political party or group as the case may be shall be deemed to be the political party to which he belongs for the purposes of social. Now this deeming occurs subsequent. The deeming doesn't occur prior to our that's one of the important points of time. Absolutely. So, Mullis, merger is the only defense. Yes. Now, and may I state the fourth one and then I will make my submission. The fourth element is 
the election commission in some form will be deciding a majority. I am using the word largely and loosely, majority. Now, my question to myself is, how does the election commission maintain a complaint by people who are not recognized under the defection law as a merged party, number one? Yes, ma'am. How do they enter the door of the election commission? Look at the irony here, this is a very interesting political irony here, which I'll come to in a minute. You can't maintain my complaint because you ask me at the door, who are you? How have you come here? Second, the election commission will take majority by persons who if the proceed, you will be disqualified tomorrow. Well, can your lot form any part of a majority if somebody is disqualified? Who are deciding this bunch of people is disqualified or not? They will be the same people who will be the majority considered by the EC and will be subsequently held to be disqualified. Well, this is it is putting the cart before the horse. I don't understand why a constitution which can't decide the basic issue and the election commission can wait. What is the value? What is the urgency? What is the value of the means? It is to make it irreversible. It is to make it a fair company. It is to then come and say, Oh, then the constitutional authority which has decided now what is left. That is the real purpose. All right. Yes, you got your got your got your four points. Mr. Now, you go to the next point. Just note for example. Well, it's, if you are, what happens? Well, there is a there is a dilemma which is there. You have left the Shiv Sena, but you want to have the goodwill of the Shiv Sena, so you don't merge. Had you merge and knocked at the doors, you'd be a new political party, subject to numbers. You want the best of both the worlds. Who are admittedly claiming that you are the Shiv Sena, which is a concept not recognized in the Tet Schedule. Where is it recognized? Anywhere. And you want to get followers of Shiv Sena and yet say that no, you can go. Well, it's in what form? This is driving the coach and forth through this. And well, the fifth point is this thing was erected well, 15 years, 20 years after on the IRM, Gairam scourge. The huge amount of discussion and amended in 2003. We are talking of a largely a procedural construct of a symbols order. How the election commission will proceed? Dr. Singhvi, you are right. Dr. Singhvi, you are right that the 10th schedule does not recognize who is the real uh, who is the real uh, party, party A, the other Shiv Sena. Yes. But is that a concept which is alien to the symbols order? No. Yes. The yes. symbols order. The symbols order, who represents or who is the real party, yeah. is not alien to the symbols order. Yeah. You're right because the tenth schedule is extremely tightly structured. The only defense is that of a merger. There is now no defense of a faction of of a split of a of, of a one third split. Yes. Two answers. One answer is that assuming it is so, I'm not conceding. I'm just answering a lot of two alternative points. That has to logically follow, not proceed. See, let me take, uh, tell you uh, what is really troubling is this. Yes, yes. The whole concept of disqualification is, really, is in relation to the House. Yes. All right. The jurisdiction of the Election Commission is to decide who represents the political party, right? Which of various factions represent the political party. The Election Commission exercises superintendence and control over the elections under 324, Article 324. What happens on the floor of the house is a microcosm of the consequence of the holding of an election. Yes, yes. I, I appreciate that. Right, that you know, so we are, that that is an area where you know there is a little bit of uh, a constant one thought to be done. The election commission has to look at the legislative and the non-legislative wings of the party decided by a lot repeatedly, including the famous case of Sarin. That's answer number one. So, lot of people should not be under the impression. So, your contention is that, therefore, because the, therefore your 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 contention really is that because the legislative because the legislative wing of the party yes. is brought under the cloud by virtue of the disqualification of proceedings, therefore the election commission is necessarily then uh, to be uh, to be to be stultified or to be prevented, interdicted 
from exercising his jurisdiction in regard to the non-legislative part of the party. That is, that, that's an area which, you know, is a little bit of a... I will be able to appear in the election commission in simple order of cases. What the issue? There are three or four answers. Just kindly take this common convenience compilation. This will is a lot of problems. There is this volume I have taken out of this. So lot of have them taken out. It's called common convenience volume. Just two or three pages. There are old one. Old one. Old one. Old one. Old one. Common convenience volume. Old one. Yeah, I mean, paper book may have. Two or three things here. What are you showing, uh, Dr. Singh? Yes. So we don't get identical. What exactly are you showing? I am showing, Mulits, in that volume, common compilation volume, the election commission notice at 698, page number. One minute. Yes, sir. What is the date of that? The election commission is dated. Page 1853. 22nd July 2022. 22nd July 2022. Dr. Singh, why don't you give us a PDF page? That was meant for the main hearing, not for today. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to take a technical objection, but still that <laughs> Our training is still incomplete. That was in July. Now, will it? Oh, 1853. Incidentally, for the record, it is page 1853 of the PDF pages. 185, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Dr. at 12 sharp, we'll wrap up with your side. We'll give you another five minutes and yes, so that be very we'll just take a short break, a comfort break, and we'll return to hear the arguments of the responses. So, let me be very pointed. Now, this page, which you're watching, is of the PDF of. The notice itself, as in all election matters, the symbol matters of the election commission. See the last page, 702. Mother, I'm sorry, I'm not even for three pages later. The last but one parallel. 1857. Yes. <coughs> Require, well, let's just see the top paragraph. Prior to the hearing of the two rival, rival groups, if any, inter alia required both rival groups to submit their respective documentary evidence of support claimed by them. In the organizational and legislative wings of the party, that way they are asking logic to underline. Now, it is very quickly, if your logic doesn't mind, going back to my page 684, which should be with us about 10 pages out here. PDF page, no PDF. My learned opponents, for the filing in the EC is very limited, what they find. <coughs> that starts at my page 670. Interestingly, both sides in their written submissions have referred to the pleadings of the other. Or the other side, when you filed your pleadings, both of you had didn't have an idea of this uh, thing that is going to now happen here. Yeah. said anything that is seriously wrong, but this is very interesting what they have said. NEC 684. 684. Yes. It's para 23. Small Roman 23. Yeah. It is submitted that the petitioner, <laughs> now this is the petitioner on the other side, presently enjoys the support of 40 out of 55 MLAs of the Shiv Sena. This is directly another issue. There is no question of 40 out of 55 disqualified people. 
in the maharashtra assembly a resolution dated 26th of june passed by 40 mlas reaffirming their support and faith in the petition as the main leader to the next that's point but can the ec proceed on a demur that assuming that these 40 persons are not to be taken into account in determining who represents which faction represents the sena the petition, even so that petition can't be filed so so there is no such thing petition can't be filed because the approach is all details of organizational and legislative and just these two pages later 687 687 two pages well the filer the approacher is mr shinde is not a member of the legislative assembly is he not claiming on the basis of the legislative assembly status right page 687 now 687 on the top fourth line organization and legislative wings of the party fourth line para 9 on the top of the page then para 10 next para fourth line all layers of organization as well as legislative wings <laughs> i can multiply this now my time is short so please come to sadi kali the citation is 1974 sorry 1972 volume 4 scc 1972 volume 4 scc Uh, uh, now i think that that is the uh, document my lord is reading has been filed by a sole person mr ekant shinde who only right. status is that of a supposed mla of the shiv sena or i will say now are you now reading uh, sadi kali sadi kali para i think sadi kali is part of the convenience compilation yes, page 14 of their convenience compilation other side compiled you not should get it in so many forms just give us a moment of para 26 there is As your lordship knows, this judgment has stood the test of time. Even though it is election committee, 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 election committee,
have not been shown to us to be incorrect. It is in view of those figures, it can hardly be disputed that substantial majority of the members of the Congress in both its legislative wing as well as organizational wing supported by Congress J. <coughs> That's why the same phrase is used in the notice of the election commission. Same phrase. As Congress is a democratic organization, the test of majority and numerical strength in our opinion is very <coughs> valuable and relevant test. Then we well, go on. Well, uh, this is of course 68 is 15 years prior or 20 years prior to the election. Judgment is prior, but I am at the moment on the judgment's own terms. Can you separate? Can you, mother, you are told, mother, that this is an unrelated issue. Then, mother, also note para 29, the last four lines. Majority, mother, of houses of parliament and some total of members of state legislature. The last two lines of para 29 to save time. Mother. Last two lines of para 29. In any case. Last two lines of continuing case. Three lines. Now, this third aspect symbols order, which is very important to repeat, predates by 15, 20 years, 17 years, is premised upon not a disqualification situation. It is premised upon a dispute. Brothers. We are one group, we have a fight. He says, I want the symbol, I say, I want the symbol. It never contemplated Correct. the penal consequence of him being disqualified or being disqualified. It did not even enter their mind. Correct. Therefore, mother, this was premised on the legislative wing. The prior, logically prior stage has to be the disqualification. That is logically prior. Number four, mothers. Your Lordship uses this phrase, it is become a commonplace, but it is a lot of great. Not when the Supreme Court leaves the government, even lower courts. What is the meaning of the subject to outcome? We just say it like that. We, your Lordship will find the I am guess. Your Lordship says that. The idea is look, I am putting you on warning. Who will claim equities? Because I may ultimately hold this way or that way. How much this is? The, the, the hiatus between them is several months. All right, Dr. Singh, thanks. Can we wrap up on this? Yes, I am done with this. But as I want to only say one thing that your Lordship fellows will keep in mind also this concept of voluntarily gives up. Voluntarily gives up is a very important phrase which your Lordship finds in 2-1-A inter area. How do you voluntarily give up? You voluntarily give up when you don't satisfy the conditions of a statute. Suppose I expel you. Suppose I expel you. Then, of course, you are not voluntarily giving. That's why I said, brothers, in actual reality of political life, expulsion is welcome sometimes. It is a welcome. But, brothers, if you do some activity which is subject to disqualification and you leave and you proclaim yourself as a separate group, but don't merge. You have voluntarily given up membership. Whereas if you have given up membership with greatest respect, how does Para 15 apply? That too by the sole applicant before the election commission, Mr. Ekran Shinde. Who is the sole applicant? There is no other application. Today, Manas, your watchers can always decide. But today, Manas, he is under a cloud, under the <coughs> simple text of 2 one all right, Dr. Simbi, thank you very much. Uh, we'll just take a short break and we'll be back and we'll hear these. Yeah. Balance of convenience of Lordship Kalna, very impression that your Lordship has some imminence or urgency. So so uh, Mrs. Sibyl made the point. We saw the. Uh, oh, all those orders. Can we, we can just see those for a moment. That's all that we shared. Yeah. That's a different matter. The it exists, is what I'm saying. This is the instructional part. All right. We direct the parties. All right.